Hello everybody, it is me with another video. And if you're wondering why I have penguins in the top left corner of my screen, you'll you'll see in a minute. Uh, today's video is going to be about how to make buttons in Stencilworks. Uh, the variety of the ability of the button and stencil for like video games is ginormous. I don't know if that's a real word, but I'm using it anyway. Um, like, let's say you have a title screen, and then you have a bunch of buttons for like the first level, help page, character selection, all that good stuff. You can use all of that with buttons. So let me show you how to do it. So first off, you make a new scene. It doesn't matter what you choose. I'm just going to do a blank game for now. I'm going to name it Tutorial. Alright, so first off, you got to make two scenes. The title, and then... I'm just going to say level 1, because I'm assuming you're going to make it for like a game or something, because it is stencil. So you go, and now I'm just going to get some quick backgrounds for the uh, scenes. So go to title, then you go... Alright, um, there we go. So now, if you look, we've got two scenes, title and level one, both with backgrounds. And if you noticed, I had um, purposely made it so it looks like this is up in outer space and stuff. And then if you go down here, it looks like it's going into the night sky and it's like falling down and stuff. I purposely did that because it just looks cool. That doesn't have to do with any anything with the tutorial. I'm just making it look cool because that matters. Um, so now you want to go to actor types, create a new actor. I know this sounds like it takes a lot of work. It really doesn't. So I'm going to name this button. All right, create some new animations. This is why I used... This is why I have the penguins, because I just hit choose image, and there we go. Because who doesn't like penguins? Alright, so now we have our actor. We're going to go to dashboard, and this is where it gets daunting. You are going to go into actor behaviors, and you are going to create a behavior. I swear this is simple as could possibly be. This... It, most most of the time when you're creating behaviors, it's really like terrifying because it looks so. Most of the scripting is like so huge and intense. This is not. So you go to input. For these, if you want to make it so it's a uh, whenever you hit a certain button on the keyboard, you choose this one. Whenever you want to click like anywhere on the screen, you choose this one. Whenever you want to click on a specific actor, you choose this one. And then if you want it to do on a specific region, use this one. Honestly, I'm going to tell you, I do not know what the focus means. I don't know what it means. I don't plan on knowing what it means because I haven't seen any videos of showing what it means or what it does or any uses for it. But I probably will end up finding about it in the future because I am... I don't want to say new, but I am not I have not been in, with stencil for a while so I'm just gonna put leave it at that so we're gonna for the uh, for today's today's tutorial we're gonna use the click on actor All right so this pops up it says when the mouse enters we're gonna change that to come on is pressed on so when the mouse is pressed on and then you're gonna do uh, choose attribute actor all right, so when the mouse is pressed on actor, sounds like a sentence now. All right, we're going to go to scene. And then th this is where, like, oh, wait, no. I'm sorry. Those are the wrong two things. I saw the two red things, and I immediately thought, these are the two red things you need. All right, so there's two things here. One's longer than the other, and one says fade out for as many seconds, and then they both say that. And then this one says on the top, the one that's longer, it says then switch to 
whatever scene you want. Hang on. Uh, to come on to a specific scene and then fade back in. This one is just reload and fade back in. This is just like reloads the title screen. So we don't want that unless you want that for something. So we want this one and then switch to choose scene. I accidentally already clicked this earlier, so that's why you saw this. So we're gonna make it level one. Don't mind this uh, warning symbol; it'll go away. It doesn't mean anything. They're just trying to scare you. They're like, "No, you're too good for stencil." All right. So switch to level one, or whatever you have your second scene name to. You're gonna hit save. All right, and then you're going to attach to actor type. You're gonna make it your button. And then you take your button and add that to your title. And I chose a really high quality picture for this uh, scene, so I'm gonna have to size it down a tiny bit. That's as small as it can possibly go. So, um, make it in the center because it's mostly do like that. All right, perfect. Um, so now save the game just cause. Now all you have to do is test the scene. If it works, good. If it doesn't, watch this video again. Because it works for me. And I, yeah, I like this because it like goes down like, watch. It like goes from up, sp up in space and stuff. And then it looks like the penguins are flying down from space going down to the ground. Uh, you, you guys probably don't see that, but I do. Because I have an imagination. Alright. Um, that's basically it. You can use this button technique for basically anything in stencil, really. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Hello, penguins. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching.